like Maxis Black is a genius when it comes to that yeah. stuff. <laughs> That's not my expertise. I'm not great at begging for money. I'm not great at you know promoting anything like that. Um, and it's, I think it's one thing that people take for granted when it comes to streams. Like, man, this guy needs support, right? Um, you know, but and that's one area where like if I had the internet to be able to stream more, I probably would because I, I almost get the feeling if I was any good at streaming at all, people would suddenly start <laughs> recognizing the other effort I put in too. Um, but you know, it's it is what it is. Um, a lot of people I think just don't necessarily understand all the work that goes into to software, especially, but um, you know, a lot of the community projects out there and um People donate to, you know, people are very, very generous out there and, and that's not necessarily the issue. It's more, some people just don't even always necessarily notice the need, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I think, I think it's a general rule. Like the less you see someone's face, the more they probably need your money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fair way of saying it, I suppose. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, uh, I mean, I'm a Grandmaster Zerg player, right? Like I, I could probably stream I don't know if I'd be that great, but... Um, well, you never know until you try. Yeah, it's one of those things I just... Honestly, my, my computer is really old and can't really <laughs> stream very well. Like, <laughs> you can't handle playing and streaming uh, very well at the same time. So it's something I've experimented with a lot in the past and, and just um, it's not super realistic right now. Especially Comcast just kills you in terms of bandwidth, so... It almost wouldn't be worth it unless I started off getting tons of subs right away, and that's not very realistic. So it's something I might do in the future, but it's definitely a difficult job. I'm not, you know, in all the talk I've I've been talking about how streamers have it easy or something like that. That's certainly not what I mean. No, no, no. It's it's very streamers. Difficult. And uh, I'm a big fan of a lot of streamers. You know, I moderate a lot of the streamer chats and stuff like that. But I I just watch a ton of streams and. Um, you know, like Nero has had a huge impact in terms of my gameplay, my mindset, positivity and stuff like that. Um, just, you know, Scarlet is another good example, Keen. I mean, all these kind of players who I've watched a ton of and they could use a lot of support too. I, I certainly don't mean to say that they get too much. Um, if anything, a lot of them are hurting too. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm really glad seeing stuff like uh, the streamer shoutouts Blizzard does, right? Uh, in the client, that kind of stuff's yeah. really great. Uh, I'm always, I mean, that's one of the main features of the site that I, I like I was saying with the stream page, I just, I wanted to help out the pro players uh, who, who want to try streaming. You know, you, if you would see like Nesty with 10 viewers, it's like, that's cool. <laughs> that's um, you know, I'm happy to see it's not that bad anymore. Um, but we used to have, have a point where like GSL code S players would be streaming, you know, weekly and, and get no viewers and that was really sad so that's one area where i'm really happy to have i think i should especially when it comes to like people who don't stream on twitch i think i've really shined a light on a lot of that stuff um a lot of the africa streams and like the the chinese streams and stuff like that um sos still streams on you know panda tv for example and <laughs> so you know like these are streams without like a Reddit thread every single time they go online. You'd never know. Yeah. So that's one thing I'm really happy I was able to highlight with my site. Um, but I guess, yeah, like in terms of thank yous, um, definitely every time I, you know, get a donation out of the blue, you know, I, or whether it's, you know, to PayPal or something like that, or um, someone asks like, how can I support you? Or, um, you know, Patreon a lot. Every time I see like uh, Damon, you know, from from Sidestorm recently became a patron. It's like, oh, that's so cool. Um, and I think at one point, uh, Risky, you know, the the uh, British. Yeah, it's Risky. Yeah. Uh, even before he had really any major success in, in the, the pro level, at least, um, you know, he was like probably low GM or mid GM or something like that, and just playing the game for fun and watching streamers and stuff. And he was donating. He was one of my first patrons. Um, another guy, um, Panic Switched, who, you know, famously has supported a lot, um, yeah. both in terms of how much he supported people, but also just like he supports the entire scene, right? So he was uh, a major factor in the initial Kickstarter. And um, 
I believe he was also a patron for a while as well. So, um, you know, stuff like that definitely has had a big impact. There's good examples of like, um, you know, I don't necessarily play at top grandmaster level, right? Like even at my best. So, you know, I can play at the highest I've got is like low GM on NA, right? So, you know, I play a lot of the people who are like mid GM on there, but I don't play on Korea. I'm not playing against Dark and Beyond. <laughs> So, you know, to get these pros and just people at those levels who share the replays, whether it's just through SDT replay stats or they share them personally with me, um, I don't necessarily want to put anyone on blast, but there's plenty of pros out there who have provided replays and, and helped out trying to unmask accounts and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, that kind of support is a, is a big deal, even though, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily keep the site running, it keeps it high quality. And that's that's important, too, because... That matters without to that, that matters to everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Without that, then there's no way you could do what you do. Uh, yeah. Dave, and this all. Do you have any final questions you want to throw uh, out to? Yeah, last thing I, I just wondered, you mentioned a computer science degree, I think. I was wondering right. what what do you do in your real life? <laughs> like Oh yeah. Yeah. Good point. yeah. Um well right now I'm unemployed. Uh, kind of a bummer, but it's been that way for a little while. Um, but I've been you know, in talks, trying to trying to work out to uh, interview with Google. They've been trying to contact me for interviews for a while. It's just uh, nice. so I you're guess, a programmer by trade. Then is that? I guess that's really yeah. Hone in. That's definitely my career yeah. path. Um, like I said, I do have a degree in computer science, um, and that's where all my fork history is. Um, you know, it's something. I mean, I, I'd like to talk just really briefly about um, you know depression and anxiety and that's definitely a large part of um kind of my history um especially in terms of um starcraft and work experience and stuff like that um and that's where you know i've had a lot of influences in improving uh my life in general and you know those kind of problems and first of all anyone out there dealing with that i would say seek help i think you know the Best advice, the biggest change in my life was definitely with uh, the support of friends and family and just getting actual professional help for dealing with those kind of problems. Um, you know, it's something I definitely still struggle with in terms of like having trouble interviewing or um, trying to approach, uh, you know, new project or something like that. Um, but I would say like, a good example would be, um, so when I first came up with the idea for the site, I was super nervous about even doing it at all. I didn't think I could do it or, you know, I wasn't sure it would really matter or be worth the effort, but I thought it was kind of cool and friends encouraged me to do it. And that's really a large part of it is just all that different support out there got me to do the site and kept it going, you know, even though it hasn't been paying my bills and hasn't been um, super easy and I've definitely had detractors and stuff like that. Um, not everyone's going to give you the most positive feedback, but you just always got to remember that there's always people out there who just don't speak up and, and they still, you know, are really happy with what you're out there doing. So any content creators out there, you know, this is some area where uh, Total Biscuit is famous for, you know, he struggled with comments and the negative feedback and a lot of people out there in the scene especially reddit um you know people have a, a lot of problems where they'll just have to stop reading reddit because the negativity yeah happen. absolutely so i would say don't let it get to you you know if it does bother you too much total biscuits method of just trying to stay away from it can be can be good but don't shut yourself off completely from everyone else um I would say in terms of um, major influences, like neuro is definitely uh, a massive impact in terms of positivity, both in terms of like sportsmanship and just treating your opponents and, and everyone else really well. And just not letting like struggles and frustrations in the game, which the game is super frustrating sometimes. Don't let that get to you and uh, keep going. So um, I guess that's, you know, I have to say, I, I want to, I want to shout, shout you out for, you know, it's uh, coming on the show and, and 
you know, it is a. Uh, Thank you for having me. <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> I think it's um, you know, a really awesome to hear your story and uh, the the things that the ups and downs trying to get over um, things in your life, even to keep the site going. And I, you know, yeah. I'm gonna obviously say thank you from like the StarCraft community perspective, because without you and other content creators and people who make sites that pretty much keep our, our, our scene together, you know, StarCraft would be in a very darker place. So um, mm. definitely a little shout out to you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I guess in terms of inspirations for that, like SC2 ranks, right? That, mm. that was like the first big community site in the game. And, that's definitely a major inspiration. Part of the reason I started the site was because I wanted a great ranking site like that. And I think, well, I guess it was eventually like Nios.kr shut down. When they shut down, I was devastated. Like, oh man, this great resource for the game shut down. And so I was just super happy to be able to try to replace it. Um, yeah. Many, many resources have gone the way of yeah. dinosaur for, for StarCraft. So. Yep. It's One always super recent was GG Tracker too. I you know yeah. I use them all the time and and my site even referenced them quite a bit for replays and sadly they, they had to shut down for much the same reasons I've been talking about where there just wasn't enough support and there was a lot of effort that kind of stuff. So Absolutely. that's one thing so, where I'm committed to just try to keep the site running as long as I can and you know if if I do run into issues where I can't even keep it the bare minimum online, I'm definitely gonna let everyone know and say. You know, oh, sorry, the site site needs a little extra support to, to at least keep it running. Um, I don't know when that'll be, if if ever. But you know, it's it's one of those things. I'm not just going to let the site die. It means too much, I think, both to me and and I think a lot of people who use it. So I'm not going to let it die. Nice. All okay. right. So, uh, the, yeah, the, that, <laughs> that StarCraft passion runs runs through the blood. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I gotta admit, I haven't been playing that much and even watching that much in a while. Um, you know, I, I think I was going full ham at it, right, for a little while trying to get Grandmaster and stuff, and I did. And uh, it was really cool. I was, I think I, I beat a pro in one of the WCS qualifiers, and that was really neat. But, you know, my skill level was just never quite there. And um, I never quite wanted to be a pro, regardless. Um, I used to cast the game, you know, way back. Um, did like pro league casting casually, and uh, I did a lot of like unofficial casts of, of streams, kind of like what Nathanius ended up doing before he started his career. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've just always been into the game. I used to play Brood War when I was younger. Um, you know, it just always meant a lot to me. It's, it's one of my one of the only games I play anymore uh, at all. I mean. Pretty much once StarCraft 2 came out, I just stopped playing any other games. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much the same. Yeah. Like StarCraft yeah. just, <laughs> it's yeah. a great game. Yeah, and you exactly. got you always got to shout out, as much as you might have problems with Blizzard, you always got to shout out the fact that the game is amazing. Absolutely. It made and us, the developers made us great try so hard. All right, so we're going to wrap up the show. We're reaching that, that point, that end point. So last part, though, um, where can people find you or give a, like the last little shout outs for for yourself and, and sure. find your great work. Well, um, so you might not see me too much on ladder right now, but uh, I do play here and there. I guess uh, the main ways you might see me online, I do very rarely stream, like I said. Um, and well, what about SC2 Mass, Unmasked? Like, does it have like a Twitter? Like a... So the Twitter is actually just my, my personal Twitter. Uh, uh... Like, any kind of updates for the site, any, any information. If the site is down, you'll see probably a message from me on my Twitter. So um, if you want to find my Twitter, it's 5 O's uh, Ophidian. Um, <laughs> 5 O's. You can find the link at the very bottom of SC2 Unmasked. And uh, my stream, you can also look up um, on SC2 Unmasked, I guess, or it's also on my Twitter. Um, and it's the same, be- same account name. So. I'm gonna. Po- I'll post the. I'll post the Twitter account in the Twitch chat, and then we'll also post it in the YouTube uh, descriptions. If you're watching this later in YouTube, yep. All right. So you'll probably see me, you know, in stream chats and stuff. Reddit, same thing. I have the same account name. So, you know, I'm pretty opinionated, and uh, <laughs> certainly, uh, I play all the races and all that at master level, at least uh, master one level. But um, 
you know, I'm certainly biased for, for Zerg, and that's my favorite race. Um, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> um, you know, I try not to let that affect the site, of course, but I do uh, personally have very strong opinions, so you'll probably <laughs> argue with me at some point about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's, uh, it's the kind of thing, you know, my Patreon is listed on the site. Um, oh, yeah, too, yep. I think my PayPal I don't have on there anymore, but it's, if you if you ever feel like uh, donating, you can always message me on Twitter or something like that. Um, you know, I, I certainly don't expect anything, but if you guys are interested, there's always options like that. Um, I right. guess, uh, you know, hey, just wow. in terms of stuff that's not about the site, um, something some people know about me and maybe don't is uh, I used to play a lot of Magic the Gathering and I started up again recently. Oh. Um, I actually had some minor pro success when I was playing in like high school um, quite a while ago. And I pretty much stopped to graduate college. Like I just wanted to do as well as possible in college. So I just quit playing professionally. And uh, it's still definitely a hobby of mine. It's something um, I've talked to briefly with like Scarlet and a few other StarCraft players who also play Magic. And it's always cool. Wait, you, did, did you play against Scarlet? No, no, we, we never played oh. Magic together. <laughs> he plays on Magic Online mostly. And uh, we haven't played together, but we've talked a little bit, um, or, you know, in the past about it. Like, um, like Scarlet just went to like a, to Tor- yeah, a tournament in Toronto, so I didn't know if like... A Magic tournament went. in Toronto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really? was, she, yeah, she went to Toronto? This, yeah, she, they made a big thread about it, and I didn't know if that... Uh, I'll have to check I, that out. Yeah, she, she went to this, uh, I think it was a big deal too. Like, I don't know the scale yeah. of the tournament or how, you yeah. know, like, whatever, but um, mm. it it was definitely stirred up a bunch of people on Reddit about Scarlet going, being in Toronto for Magic the Gathering, so. That's really cool. I'll have to check that out. Um, yes. Yeah, I've seen her in, like, start her in uh, Magic stream chats and stuff like that before, but we also <laughs> talk personally, like, a lot, and uh, we talked sometimes about Magic. Um, I think she sent me some tweet about like some cool play she made or something too. But, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I just I didn't even really know cool. that. I figured she was just too busy with like all her recent Starcraft. I shit. think everyone everyone thought the same thing, and then we're like, oh, <laughs> then, then it was like, no, she took a month off to play. <laughs> like, yeah, so then she ran out to go play Magic. Like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. I always wonder if she won. Uh, okay, so Dave, what yourself? Let's wrap up the show. Where can uh, they find you? You can just find me on Twitter at Endersword and mostly just find me here. He's <laughs> Dave is practically always here. He's yeah, always here. Dave a, is, is he's my he's a permanent fixture. Yeah. And um and you'll probably you'll see him when we start doing uh Kings of North Probots. So yeah. our our AI tournament, which we recently announced. Yeah. So yeah, so those of you guys who have custom bots out there and you're working on it, go. Uh, you have a <laughs> tournament going on. Um, it's a it's a huge beta tournament in the sense that like I've never we've never run a tournament yeah. for <laughs> AI bots ever. Yeah. Yeah. So and there's not a lot of tournaments to which to to base it off of. So yeah. there's a there's it's a huge beta for us. Um, so you know if if you're signing up and you're like. Why do I only have such a short minute period of time? It's it's fine. We didn't have there was not a lot of time to prepare, and I wanted to get this out the door ASAP. So don't worry. I'm hoping if it goes well, we'll do another one. You'll have plenty of time for that bot to jump in there. So uh, if you want to join that tournament, go to eschamp.com. It's like front page, and just go to click on the the pro bot symbol, and you should be able to sign up, and then you'll be able to watch the stream here. So that's going to be super cool. A lot of the SE2 AI community has been pretty excited about that. So oh, I really wish I had created one already. I, I wanted to it. for a long time. I just, it's hard, man. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get, a little, hopefully I'll be able to get like an official SC2 MS bot out there playing yeah. and kicking some bronze ass or something, you know? The yeah. irony would be if it had a barcode as its name. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I bet it would be easy to like analyze the bot replays and d- determine that they are a bot. <laughs> like, yeah, probably. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. about the same thing. Like, someone could probably like yeah. try to fake the like streaming as a bot because there have yeah. been like actual bot versus bot streams in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but like, 
yeah, I was always thinking like, oh, someone could try to fake it, but it's so mm-hmm. obvious that it's some a bot. Of the, some of the APIs so like twenty five thousand. Yeah, twenty five thousand API would pretty yeah. much like Even reveal if you that it's a bot. APM, I still think it's too obvious. Like yeah. just certain micro things that folk that bots will focus on. Yeah, like, the way no one moves. could do that. The way the, the, the individual it, stutter step, yeah, yeah, the, and they're like, <laughs> like perfectly time every adept shade. It's like that's impossible. Yeah, <laughs> like they, the bots have perfectly timed stutter step where every unit stutter, stutter steps yeah. in a different direction. And I was like, yeah. mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah. I've certainly uh, written scripts in the past that can can do stuff like that, but uh, nothing using the uh, okay. you know the the Google um, yeah. like the, the recent APIs that they've developed for Google. Mm. So. Uh, I, I would love to do a buy. It's just hella difficult, especially if you want to do. From them. Yeah, and then we're gonna find out soon huh, just how difficult with these guys, the, those who signed up and who's yeah. who's put their bots out. So that's coming yeah. up, guys. Uh, closer to the end of this month, the twenty second, when we start up our stream <laughs> for that. But the tournament begins on the eighteenth of June. From this listening, if you're listening to this somewhere in the future. Um, and then from that, what else we got coming up? We got a Ligulac next week on Monday. And then on next Thursday, we're doing a map maker powwow where Dave and I are going to grill the people who made the maps on the current oh, ladder about nice. the certain decisions they made <laughs> to make those maps. <laughs> <Yeah>. The controversy. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, we're going to bring about the controversy and we're at the same time, we're going to hear about some of the trials and tribulations of like map makers, mm. because much oh, like yeah. other content creators, they too get their own share of, um, unjustified. Yeah. No one ever, very rarely is someone like, this is a great map. We should love this guy. Yeah. No, right. right. Thanks for efforts yeah. in the game. Yeah. Probably. It's never, never like, I think they, they like, they're worse than like the sidewalk people just like assume they'll be there the next <laughs> yeah. day. Right. They're like, whatever. Right. But without why them, why can't yeah, I why, walk perfectly every time? Right? <laughs> why I can't I walk? Small bug, even though it's not your fault, Blizzard changed the map. Like, yeah, ex- <laughs> exactly. So our, our map powwow is going to bring some of the map makers from our community who have built mm-hmm. the maps that are currently in, in this uh, ladder season or past ladder seasons. And we'll discuss, we'll discuss what happened and why things happen and, 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 Hopefully, reveal some insights to Ooh, what that's all about. Yeah, yeah uh, sure. What's when it? you do that, please ask about. I think it's Redshift, right, with the little uh, pylon trick. Yeah, ask yes. about that because that is one of the coolest things in the game for okay. so long now. Some people um, would disagree. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's, fine. It, it's certainly like reminiscent of Brood War uh, and the maps yeah. back then. Like it was embraced, like all sorts of weird map making tricks like that. Um, and it was probably unintentional with the map, but it's it's just something. Well, I, I think they designed the, the the mineral field to be like that, but I think the bugs themselves, were, the bugs that developed from yeah. from it, I don't think that was intentional. Yeah. Um, exactly. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think, I, but I think the design was like, yeah, this could be weird and cool, and then yeah. spawn yeah. from that. Well, as came... soon as you put just the mineral line, you knew something could happen. <laughs> like you like, just yeah. begged for something yeah. to happen. I'm I'm super excited. Like. I hope this is the kind of thing that encourages a lot of map makers to try the variety that's possible. Like every time something like this got discovered in Brew War, they would just go really off the walls and you'd see some really mm-hmm. unusual stuff. Yeah. And I hope that Blizzard supports it. It seems like since they didn't patch it out that they yeah, do they didn't remove it. So, yeah. you know, that, that's probably the best we could ever hope from, from a Blizzard response is apathy. <laughs> 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 They're just like, whatever. Um, they did address it, but Okay, mm-hmm. either way, guys, um, that's pretty much the last of it. Oh, and the last uh, major important thing some of you have expressed for other ways to support our show, tournaments, and events. So I started a Patreon. Uh, just like all the other cool kids in the content creating world, I too have started a Patreon, patreon.com slash ESChamp, just like that. Or you can simply subscribe here on Twitch. Either way, those all help the shows and help support cool ideas like the bot tournament. So yeah, stuff that's like that. one of those things I just want to briefly uh, yep. mention, like, you know, like it's really, really hard to um, set up those like tier levels for <laughs> contributors, right? Yeah. I'm sure you had to go through this recently. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought I, I went in a bit with creative and I, I used um, for, for anybody, like for sometimes as well, when we do live events and stuff like that, yeah. I've always support our, our Patreons, patrons and our subscribe, Twitch subscribers to 
mm-hmm. free uh, tickets to the event and stuff like that. So I always try, it's always trying to f- reward people who put support towards making this stuff happen. Because just much like yourself, um, this stuff, you know, runs on blood, sweat, and t- tears. Yeah. So. <laughs> Those kind of reward life. tiers are so hard to create. Like, I <laughs> I mean, what the hell do you do, right? Like, there's people out there, I see a lot of the time streamers are like, I'll write you a handwritten thank you note. Or, you know, <laughs> like, those, you are, know. Those, those are tough. Um, yeah. And, and, and I, you know, coming up with the writing, if you get like 20 patrons for, and you write 20 handwritten notes, that, that could be trouble. Yeah. So, but for yeah, now, I would love to offer stuff, and I'm sure. Like you said, you have some real col- solid concrete stuff to offer. I would love yeah. to be able to offer like things people actually wanted for that. <laughs> you just have to it's gonna come up down to some creativity. But for now, we're gonna end off the show before our VOD becomes way too long for anyone to watch. Um, until next time, guys. This has been Inside the Champ. We'll see you ne- we'll see you next time. <laughs>